Hi everyone, I'm in tonight and I'm going to do a pour. Um, I'm looking at doing a flip cup and aiming for cells. So, just I'm also going to use a larger canvas than usual the um, 30 by 40 centimeter size canvas as you know I, I do need to get used to using it I can't just keep avoiding it so I'm going to give that another shot tonight and seeing as I just printed on my um, second YouTube video pour which was my favorite colors of my green and brown with my pink and earlier I did my screen printing over that same pour um, I am going to do another green and brown no addition of pink and I am aiming for cells. So, right. So, what we have is the yellow green from Crafty Color, the mid green from Crafty Color, the teal green from Radical Paints, and the green deep from Chromacryl. They're the ones I've already prepared. Okay, so I just left them out to show you. And what we have in this cup is the burnt sienna, the raw umber, and the bronze. So I'm going to mix that up. I think it will give like a, a shimmery, caramelly, maybe? No, darker than caramel. Um, maybe more chocolatey. So, yeah, definitely. Definitely chocolatey. What do you think? So I'm going to add some pouring medium to that. This is my mix that I have made up ready to go so I'm just eyeballing the amount of paint I have in there and pouring in what appears to be an equal amount of pouring medium so give that a nice stir blend it through Scrape the sides. Now because the, um, the pouring medium has a lot of whiteness to it, although it dries clear, it does give a slight variation to the colour as opposed to when it's dry. So we'll see how that looks. Turning scraping, hold it up like a thick shake, mm, not quite like water yet, so add a squirt of water, keep stirring, yeah so today worked out quite beautifully, uh, I just had an awesome day with my son, he was such a chatterbox today, Boy, did he ask questions and non-stop talk, talk, talk. He's going to sleep so well tonight. It's glorious. Like a thick shake. Almost. Almost like a milkshake. So, stirring it all in. Yeah, 
breaking the sides. Let's have another test. Like a big shake, like a milkshake. Yep, one more dash and the water is done. So that's what we have there. And excuse any noise in the background. The boys are in the lounge room causing havoc. So I'll just pop these away now. And so the paints are all ready to go. Beautiful. I am going to add, oh, I just put them all out of reach. And I'm going to add silicon to every single one. <laughs> and definitely, definitely going for cells. One, two, three, four. Oh, okay. We got four in the last one because it slipped out, but I will see. Now, I like to give it a big stir because I would like lots of lots of little cells. Okay. And then we are ready to go. Love all these varying shades of green. And this teal green. Actually, it really does look you know, very pretty. Very, very pretty. Okay, so I'm going to move these off to the side. The cup I am using will be this big big whopping one here. I am going to spritz it with my silicon spray. And bring in my canvas. Now before I go any further make sure you're in frame. Perhaps we should go this way. About there looks good. Okay. So I am going to start with the yellow green. The Mid green, <laughs> some brown, plopping them in from a high distance so it mixes and intermingles that bit. Okay, so the teal green and then the green deep. Sorry, getting my hand in the way there. And then I'm going to go back through and repeat using leftover of all the paints straight into the cup. Brown. So I'm, I'm not actually going to scrape them out though um, because just in case I need to make a ribbon or just something, something small I can then scrape it out at that point. So. Okay. This is glorious. All right, that's exciting. And all right, so we're gonna go flip cup. I am going to go here. 
I need to get my grip. There we go. But try not to leak. Oh, there's a little bit, but yeah, no, that's okay. <laughs> A little bit of relief after doing that bit. It's coming. It's coming. Okay, I'm just going to add in a little bit of white near my edges. This contains no silicon in the white. It's a premix. And just quickly run over these edges. Okay. Let's feel like a child. Not a child. My inner child. Absolutely. Playing with paint before. Okay, so it's going to run it around a little. Oh my gosh, isn't that divine? And down here, woo! So beautiful. Okay, so now I'm going to leave this cup up. See, it's almost empty, but I'm going to stop it there from the silicon spritz. Oh, gosh. Okay. I'd love to get you down and show you those, but I don't want to. Maybe I can zoom. Oh, yeah. See, look at these. Around these edges. This is where it had leaked out of the cup a little bit. Gorgeous. Okay. I'm not going to torch it just yet. I'll spread it a little. See, I haven't completely gone to all edges. That's okay. And now I'm going to torch. All right, let's see what we got. See, lots of bubbles escaping, being popped. That's great. Big cells from the silicon. Lots of beautiful tiny ones. Oh, you know, guys, I think I finally got my brown and green. I believe I have. You can still see lots of tiny little bubbles popping. Mm. Oh my gosh. This, oh. You can see there I wasn't very careful and swiped the bottom of the torch through the painting. So, man, eh, not very good there. That's okay, because perhaps... I'm sorry, I have to pop you down now. Okay, so before I go any further, check this out. Wow. Stunning. Look at that. different greens 
are coming through each other. The browns, oh, pardon me, the browns. There's my accidental swipe. Let me get that in focus. It's gorgeous. Pop you back up. Sorry. Sorry about that. Okay. So we will just give it a little bit of a tilt. Start with this way. Come on, guys. Cooperate, please. Running. Okay. Make sure I use a clean hand. I have messed up many, many cells already. Hmm. That's okay. We stretch, we slide, we dab, bring them back to the center. And bring it down this way. We're actually going to try and get that bit off. And now I'll try and bring it back to the centre. Oh. That was actually quite hard. Normally with the the um, eight by eight inch, I am sitting down, and I found this had a huge difference on my back standing up at this table. So, yeah, interesting. Good to know. And, wow, so I definitely have some very, very stretched cells down here and up here. But I say this area, absolutely stunning. Oh, dear. Okay, all right, I'll just bring you down. And show you uh, just one second so yeah there we go there's definitely some amazingly beautiful cells I'm very happy with that there we go I'm still not overly impressed with my own <laughs> tilting skills but that is some beautiful beautiful things happening on this canvas so I don't quite mind that bit not bad if I do say so oh shouldn't do that okay all right, guys, now let's try and get a larger shot in focus. There we go. Sorry for the light reflections. Try and move those. All right, thanks so much for watching. Have a good night, morning, afternoon and evening. And I will be with you again soon. Take care. Bye for now.